Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be designing and simulating a clamper application using the KiCad simulation tool. For more such KiCad simulations, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Now open the KiCad tool, double click on the clamper schematic and let us zoom in. Now we have to place the various components. So click on add place symbol and from the library select the following diode that is 1N914 diode and place this particular diode on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial. In order to rotate the diode, use the R button of the keyboard. Next, we have to place the capacitor component for our simulation purpose. So in the search library, you can type CAP or you can use a unpolarized capacitor for the simulation purpose. You can also select the capacitor from the P spice. So we will place a capacitor as shown in this particular tutorial and next we have to we have to place a voltage source. So type P spice and select the V source and place this particular voltage source in the schematic window. Now once this particular voltage source is placed we have to right click on this particular voltage source and click on properties define the reference as v1 define the value as 0 click on spice model and define the sinusoidal define the DC offset as 0, amplitude as 20 volts and frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK. Now click on the global label and place the label as V1. Place this label across the voltage source V1. Now click on wire and connect the voltage source V1 to the global label and the negative terminal to the ground. Next place the global label V1 across the capacitor as shown in this particular tutorial and place the voltage source across the diode. D1. Now right click on this particular voltage source, click on properties, define the reference as V2, define the value as 9 volt. Now click on the power port and place the ground connection and click on wire connect the label V1 to capacitor and the other end of a capacitor to the diode from the other end of the diode connect to the terminal 2 of the voltage and the terminal 1 is connected to ground. Next right click click on properties define the reference as C1 and define the value as 4.7 milli Farad and click on properties define the reference as T2 and we have to select the appropriate models so click on models and select the 1N914 model and select OK
So we would be designing the second part of our clamp application. So click on add symbol and select 1N914 diode and in order to rotate use R button of the keyboard place this particular diode on the schematic window as shown. Now we have to select the capacitor and place this particular capacitor as shown in this particular tutorial. Next we have to place the voltage source and the global label. So select this particular voltage source and place the voltage source on the schematic window. Next we have to place the ground connection. So click on ground and place the ground connection on the voltage source. Next place the global label V3 and place this across the second voltage source. Now click on the wire and connect the global label V3 to the voltage source. Now right click on this particular voltage source, click on property, define the reference as V3 and define the value as 0. Now click on sidle, define the DC offset as 0, amplitude as 20, frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK. Next, we have to place the global label V3 across the capacitor that is the second capacitor. So place the global label V3. Now click on wire and connect the V3 to capacitor and from capacitor connect this to the diode. Now click on add symbol and type for the voltage source and place this particular voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on ground and place the ground connection across the voltage source. Now click on wire, connect the ground connection to the other end of the voltage source and the positive terminal of the voltage source towards the other end of the diode. Right click on capacitor, click on property, define the reference as C2, define the value as 4.7 millifarad and similarly we have to define the model for the second diode click on properties and define the reference as T2 click on spice model and we have to select the appropriate diode model so in this particular tutorial we have selected the 1N914 diode so select this particular diode and click OK. Now right click on the voltage source, click on properties, define the reference as V4 and define the voltage source as 9 volt. Now this particular circuit has been completed. Now in order to run the simulation we have to define the transient analysis. So click on text and define dot tran 1 milli and 6 milli and place this particular text on the schematic window. Now click on properties, define the reference as T1 because we had already defined as T2 for our previous circuit. So click on inspect, click on simulation, run this particular simulation, now click on probe place the probe across the input V1. You can see our input waveform. Now let us place the probe across the output to see the clamper application circuit. So you can see the output waveform has been clamped. Now let us place the probe on the second circuit. So you can see the output waveform of the clamp application. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.